Hey guys, want to see a 10K product case study? Let's get into it right now. Hey guys, it's Ricky Hayes here and we're going straight into this case study. Before we do, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my videos and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ricky Hayes IG. Okay guys, boom, boom, boom. All right, so this here is my ads manager for my course. Uh, my course is this here. Uh, you should buy it. No, I'm joking. Anyway, but this I thought would be a perfect case study to see the whole transparent thing. I spent hours making this. This took a long time. Uh, and that took a bit too. Um, but you can see here that uh, what I wanted to show you here is I got my pixel. This is through ClickFunnels, okay? Um, and uh, if, if anyone ever wanted a, a way um, on how to do this, I can make a video in the future where you have to manually install your pixel in a, a certain way. All right, so, um, and this has got the view content or page view. And then when I go to the uh, checkout page, that's when there's actually the uh, initiate checkout pixel event all right so that'll be super valuable if you want something like that comment down below all right guys um but anyway let's have a look at my ads manager now firstly I want to be completely transparent so we can see here that uh spent just over 130 bucks and got an 88.83 return on ad spend okay now you can see here that this is my latest ad uh let's have a look at them and um all right so you can see here this is the creative if any of you have gone to my my page, you'll probably been remarketed from me. And so you can see how it's a very similar approach. Hey, we see that you're interested in blah, blah, blah. It's the same approach that I use for most of my remarketing, except obviously I tailored it a bit different towards, you know, students. Um, and, you know, it said come back here. Now with my course, I don't offer a discount. That's a, another difference, but fundamentally it's the same. You can see though our Facebooks, uh, they let me run it for a bit. They actually proved me and then declined me again. It's been really annoying. I've been trying to figure it out, tried different various things, it didn't work. Uh, but anyway, you can see here that this is a creative that I've just chosen uh, three students who have been uh, more than happy to give their testimonial. And then there's uh, proof of sales. And uh, just some basic ad copy with the popularity of the course, people, uh, the prices will be increasing soon to support all my students. Okay, so what I've done there is added subtle, uh, subtle scarcity, okay? You know, we, you, people don't want the prices to go up, you wanna lock it in now, okay? So you add that in, you add a little clock, okay? It sort of associate time with the clock, so it subconsciously says, oh yeah. Okay, don't miss this opportunity, okay? And you know, people don't want to miss opportunities. That that's how these things work. And to change your life today. Obviously, as us as entrepreneurs, when I see in ads like this, this is you know invoking me to take action. And obviously, what my goal is for anyone that's seen this ad is to click through my Bitly URL or obviously the Learn More button, which they're going to be sent to this product page here, and then you know, blah 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 blah. They can see all my mumbo jumbo. Um but you can see just how easy that is. And this is just a remarketing, okay? You know, so this is, but I thought it was a perfect example because it, it's fundamentally the exact same, just slightly different, okay? I just have a different target audience. It's still e-com, okay? But it's slightly different. Now, what I've been doing more recently is I do age and gender, okay? So uh, with my age and gender, sorry, I just need a drink. Pardon me. Um, is it helps me to quickly you know f define my audiences so if I in this case go I was personally just really surprised by this this is why you gotta let the data tell the story uh, I honestly thought that most of the people that would have bought my course just from my remarketing ad would have been mostly uh, men and uh, to be honest it is but I was really surprised by the second one and that's not being sexist at all but I I was just blown away by that and I'm sort of oh hot damn and um, uh, but then they declined my ad so I couldn't I couldn't keep doing it. I'm sort of that's utter crap I mean like I don't know why it says check out initiated but anyway um, I don't know sometimes it misfires but if I had to pay two dollars thirty five cost per click for you know what, what I don't know what the CPA is I don't have it on this this pixel um, sorry the column but you know like absolutely insanely cheap cost per acquisition I would be over the moon with this all right so um, you gotta let the data tell the story okay so I made this ad and I set up my pixel because I use ClickFunnels for my course and 
and uh, uh, set that all up and made sure it was tested properly. So the view content is basically the landing page, the initiate checkout is the checkout page, the thank you page is the purchase page. So one, uh, you just have to change the pixels and that's what I did there. So it's actually really easy. Um, again, I can make a video if you're interested in that. Um, but you can see here that you know the majority of my audience is 25 to 34 year old men. All right, so um, most of my ad spend has gone 25 to 34 year old men and 18 to 24 year old males. Okay, so it is mostly men. You know, most of my audience is men. Uh, in fact, probably what uh, 90, 95 percent are men um, because you know that, that's sort of unexpected. Whereas you know us doing ecom, like if you're doing ecom products, most of your actual sales probably be from women. But being entrepreneurs, most entrepreneurs are actually men. So very different audiences, very de different demographics. Um, so, you know, all of these are super stupidly profitable, you know, and that's why I was so mad about getting declined because uh, apparently it houses gambling. So you can see I actually deleted a heap because I made a heap of duplicates trying different things and they just keep getting declined. They're like, just keep getting declined. I mean, $1.19 cost per click, it's actually, you know, cheaper. But I've gotten the sale on this one that, that they haven't declined, but they actually approved it and then they declined it again. But anyway, so you can see that if I were to duplicate this and it was not declined, thank you, Facebook. Um, we've all been there, it's fun, huh? So actually what I'm gonna do is make this a little bit easier. And the reason as well that uh, I was, um, you know, really annoyed, I really wanted this one to work is because it actually had engagement. So like. You know, a lot of remarketing ones don't get a lot of engagement. Um, but this this one actually, because um, you know, a few of you nice people actually stuck up for me, someone got really mad. But anyway, um, that's irrelevant to this. But um, we can see here that this is pretty much fundamentally the same. So if I was to duplicate this and it was, and I was scaling, because I would love to duplicate this, because I know it's a winning ad creative, is, um, and it was funnily enough, just my first one, I just mimicked someone else's. Uh, and it's worked quite well. Um, but again, what I would just simply do is I can see all of these are profitable. Okay, now, if it costs me $2.35 cost per click, uh, but I'm getting absolutely insane ROAS, I mean, why would I complain about that, okay? I would uh, be definitely leaving this ad creative on. Um, and you can see here as well that, you know, across the board, uh, we've nearly got some sales actually for women too in that age demographic didn't know so anyway but i'm leaving this on because it's just insanely profitable i mean why would i turn it off okay and i'd be using my automated rule to uh, comfortably scale it but at the same time once i for instance run my webinar okay guys if you aren't aware i'm having a webinar and it's in about two three weeks uh i'll be providing more information on it then and there it's going to be super fun okay make sure to attend um is I would be all of these that have sales. I mean, normally I wouldn't go for something that has a sale more than uh, at, at minimum of three because that confirms it's a really good audience. Because if it's one, it's usually de it can be defined as a fluke. Okay, one is defined as a fluke. Two is defined as okay, it's working. Three is definitely pursue this further. Okay, so that's the golden rule. Pretty simple, just those three steps. Okay, so that's when you really want to hammer home. If you can see three and you can see a strong correlation, just duplicate it to that exact one. Set it to midnight. Three ad sets. Five dollar budget done. All right, I've done that so many times. It works, work, 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 work. So again, I'd be doing the same thing here, but I'd be going a step further. I would literally be duplicating this five times, sending it to each demographic. So like, if I were to just show you right now, just because I've done this so many times, you become really quick, quick at it once you've done it a billion times, like I have. Kind of gets boring, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure what your feelings on that are, but um, once it loads, blah blah blah. Now, uh, I forgot to mention as well, sorry, let's have a close look in the actual ad set. I didn't cover that. So again, I've used the purchase pixel. You can see here that um, the, this one for Ecom Lifestyle, actually it has lead. I don't know why it has lead. Um, I presume it defines lead as the page view. Anyway, but an initiate checkout is the one that I've used. Uh, but I've, you know, again, like exact same with, um, with uh, just running a pure Ecom product that you just go purchase, okay? You want sales, you want purchase. Uh, I'm seeing more and more and more people, uh, PPE is not working for people, and that's just comes back to my whole validation that purchase is just where you need to be. It might be, oh, CPMs and stuff, but you wanna sell. So all I did, exact same remarketing strategy as um, just uh, basically a, a standard Shopify landing page or 
click final landing page doesn't matter um is you know i didn't put it in i didn't name the convention properly but 100 i just put 180 day vc okay of the landing page so i just got uh this copied the end of it put it into a custom audience put it into a nice custom audience um i made a few because you know various things that i'm testing and once it loads Da, 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 da. Okay, so you can see I've uploaded emails. Actually, I'm going to use that for lookalikes uh, eventually once I um once I get to it. Um, so okay, so we can see here I've got my VC, and all I've done is you know I've just gone uh, VC on the specific pixel, okay, and that that's pretty much all I've done. I've targeted anything from the pixel, but what I need to do and what I will be doing is I'll be narrowing it down, okay, uh, because I have. Um, well, I really only had the one landing page anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So the because it's all connected to the same landing page, it really has uh, no problems at all. Uh, but that's something I'll have to investigate further. Anyway, and I've just excluded people that have passed purchase. So again, it's basically just targeting people that have view content or add to cart, basically, uh, but haven't purchased. And it just tells them to come back. I left it broad, left it broad. Um, now I, I, oh, that's right. what I did is, so in the actual ad set, I just wanted to test it out, but I, um, with the placements, I did originally target all placements, you can see here, uh, but I just took out the ones that just weren't working well. We can see here that it was just Facebook, you know, Instagram, we can see here, uh, Instagram feed, you know, it just doesn't seem to, to really, you know, convert higher cost per click, um, you know, four checkouts initiated. But it just was something I'm like, well, you know, this is working so well, I'm just going to pursue this. So I just did. And so I just took out all the other placements, basically. Um, so you can see that's what I've done there. Um, once it opens up again. All right, cool. So, and again, right column looks to work really well, especially with core sales. So that's been a lesson learned for me. Um, all mobile devices, one day click. Okay, so the exact same as what I do with Ecom. The exact same. There's really no difference. I was a bit humming and hiring and I just tried it and it's worked. So I was really surprised. Um, now, if we have a look here at impression device as well, we can see something quite interesting. So we can see that again, so mobile, um, Android and iPhone doing well. Uh, we can definitely see Android is the preferred operating system between the two. And we can also, and like, you know, less than a dollar cost per click, you know, less than a dollar straight purchase for a course. I'm pretty damn happy with that. Um, and you can obviously see that uh, desktop's doing well. But if we have a actually look at the, the placements again, we can see that it was the desktop newsfeed, okay? So uh, I know that Facebook and desktop newsfeed do really well. Um, so if I had a lot of traffic, because obviously at this stage I'm pretty much running organic, all right, it's not uh, viable for me to be doing all these split tests. I need a lot more traffic to, to confidently run proper split tests to properly get, you know, uh, adequate test data, right? It's really important, obviously, for me selling my course, and it'd be the exact same for you selling your product as you scale, right? And so um, what I'd be doing again is going to all, all the different ages, all right, as, as a separate ad set, all right? So all the separate... Um, age demographics, age and gender, sorry, demographics that have sales. And then I would be testing mobile versus desktop, okay? Just leaving all the age demographics as it is, this exact same, and just testing mobile versus desktop. Then I would go granular, even more granular, and make another one of Android versus mobile, okay? So for each of these changes, you can see, except for age and gender, um, age and gender, where I can see strong correlations, um, I do everything as a one part test. So again, just basically duplicate it. So I would have five ad sets for all the different ages. So 25, 34 men, blah, 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 all of those. Then I would have another two ad sets for mobile versus desktop with nothing else changed. And then I would have another two of uh, Android versus iPhone, okay? And everything else stays the same. And so then I could see because you might see in Android that it actually might be 35 to 44 year old men or 25 to 34 year old women, whereas on iPhone, it might be 18 to 24 year old men type thing, right? And so it gives me that data straight away to be able to say, all right, cool, this is working, this is not working, this is working, all right. So, um, except with ages where I can see it quite confidently, but I leave the one that's working well. If it's profitable, leave it, you know, um, and, and scale it. And I can, because this is a kind of different strategy in terms of how I scale, you know, I could increase it, but I just prefer the duplication method. And uh, in this case, 
um, I would still duplicate it three times, five dollars for ev everything I'm testing. So if I'm gonna have what five, six, seven, eight, nine ad sets, so I'm gonna have nine ad sets just from what I said. I would actually have nine times three, so I'd have twenty-seven. And within twenty twenty-four hours, I'd be just going through and mainly just killing the ones based on cost per click and uh, leaving them cost per click and initiate checkout and then just leave them to run. And obviously, you know, I'll be, I should be driving traffic to, to my course, to et cetera, et cetera, at that point to uh, then obviously see what's happening there. All right, so that's pretty much it. You can see how, like, I don't know what that is in terms of uh, the maths. I can't be bothered figuring it out, but it's over $10,000. Um, and you can see that's just from remarketing. Like, and obviously that's high ticket, so that's pretty much it. But you can see what the general rule of thumb is, uh, is always go age, gender, or country. Sorry, actually I missed this, my apologies. Uh, you go country first, then age and gender. Um, so I'm sorry, I, I misled you there. But look at this, I was so surprised. And, and that again is not being raised, but I honestly thought United States, Australia and that, like that's just what I've been told. And look at that, nothing from United States, Australia and stuff. And this is why the, look, Hong Kong, India, Qatar, Panama, Peru, how cool is that? Oh, I mean like 19, why didn't you buy 19 times, you bastards? But anyway, um, <laughs> but anyway, so you can see here like 59 cents cost per click, uh, absolutely insane. And look at this, six cents? I didn't even notice that. I'll take that row ass any day of the week. That is insane. If I could retain a six cent cost per purchase, <laughs> I think I'd be a happy man. And uh, especially with that profit margin, it's insane. Anyway, so you can see how what I would do now is, um, and I think I actually did it, but you can see how, oh, look at this. We look at Australia, us Aussies are cheap bastards. Um, we can see here that Finland, someone, some people were quite interested. United Kingdom, a uh, number of people interested, but again, didn't buy, nearly 10 bucks there. It's Australia, and where's US? Where's US? Uh, uh, no, that's United Arab Emirates. But anyway, so I would be, so further to this, I do apologize. I would actually be uh, legitimately just duplicating this to Thailand for one as well. I can confirm that Thailand people seem to like my course, which, thank you. Um, uh, I would be duplicating it just to that, changing nothing else as well, all right? So what you wanna do, country, age, gender, impression device, placement. And um, what you'll find pretty quick is um, you're gonna find, you narrow down your audience. And so this is why like, my strategy takes a bit longer with Facebook ads. I start low with low spend and I duplicate so I can get good data so that then I just duplicate, um, narrow my audience down. And then once you've narrowed your audience down, let's say you know I narrowed it down by country and then age and gender, I've taken out two massive areas, okay? Two massive areas, okay? And so uh, now I know that my budgets are far more direct and I could just bump that budget up if I had a lot of traffic coming in and bam, 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 all right? So that's pretty much all there is. Like that, that's that's how I do it. I mean, there's a lot more advanced stuff and that's in my course. If you do want my course, there's a link down below, okay? That's really important. But if you did like today's video, if this has been helpful in any regard, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Comment down below. If you did like today's video, just comment, awesome. Uh, that would just come off the top of my head, so I should have thought ahead of that. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ricky Hayes IG. Further to this, as I said midway through, I am uh, I'm updating my cheat sheet, so it's going to be a new cheat sheet. It's going to be really cool. Going to release that in probably a couple of days. I am starting my webinar. I've done most of the back end. It's been really exciting. Um, it's been really challenging, really different, but really exciting. And I'm really scared, but really excited, okay? It's all the same thing. Um, and that will be in on the 10th of January at 10 a.m. my time, all right? You're gonna get notification on that when it comes closer to the time. Um, I'll be broadcasting about that, so make sure to stay aware. I wanna at least update you early. You know, you wanna be there 10 minutes early. You wanna have your, um, in a well-lit room, you wanna be able to just focus. I'm gonna be giving so much value, okay? It's gonna be heaps of fun.